my channel. My name is Wolo. If this is the first time you are seeing my videos, I want to say a very big thank you to you. I just request that you click on the subscribe button and um, enjoy the ride with me. So I am not on my usual spot and that's because I took a short trip to Edmonton. I am in Edmonton and I'm currently in one of the Airbnb apartments um, downtown in Edmonton. I'll be going out very soon. The weather is very cold. It's actually 29 degrees. There has been a weather alert from Environment Canada concerning the extreme weather. I think the wind chill is about minus 40 degrees. But I'll still be going out so that you can see how Edmonton looks like. And yeah, so this video is for people who want to come to Edmonton, new immigrants who are planning to um, come to Edmonton if you've gotten a nomination from Alberta because I know a lot of people get um, nominations from Alberta and you know which adds points to their express entry profile so if you've gotten a nomination and you're thinking of which city you would like to settle in either Calgary or Edmonton this video is for you and yeah so I'll go straight to facts about Edmonton Edmonton is the capital of Alberta and the population of Edmonton is about 1.4 million while the population of Calgary is about 1.2 million there are about so Edmonton has more population than Calgary and Edmonton is colder compared to Calgary because Calgary has mountains surrounding them and they have this Chinook um, that blows during winter that warms up the weather for some time you know but Edmonton is quite colder than Calgary. Then another fact about Edmonton is that they have the biggest mall in Canada. So they have the West Edmonton Mall in Canada and I'll be going there today. And I hope to do a video there. Don't mind me. If I don't, please forgive me. They also have the University of Alberta, which is in Edmonton. They also have the Northern Alberta Institute of Technology. And just like Calgary, Edmonton is divided into Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, and Southwest. So now, talking about the cost of living in Edmonton, you have to put in a lot of factors um, depending on where you want to live. So you find cheaper houses in some areas, you find cheaper apartments in some areas, you find more expensive apartments or condos or houses in some other areas of Edmonton. But basically you can rent an apartment or a condo, um, I think I'll use the word apartment, you can rent an apartment for um, $1,200, that's a two bedroom apartment for $1,200 or $1,100 depending on the area you want to rent in. If you want to rent in Northwest, you might find it cheaper. If you want to rent in northeast you might find it cheaper but if you go to the southwest part of the city um, it might be expensive so depending on which part of the city you want to rent from you might find it either cheaper or expensive now um, in terms of transportation they have the Edmonton transit system and they also have the LRT which is the light rail transit that's the train so to um, if you want to buy a day pass for the Edmonton transit system, you'll be paying up as much as $9.95. But for just a normal trip, you'll be paying as much as $3.50, which is even um, more expensive than Winnipeg. I'm comparing you with Winnipeg, sorry. And then for a monthly pass, it's $97, which is cheaper than um, Manitoba, Winnipeg, Manitoba. For monthly pass, you pay $97 for a monthly pass, and it is cheaper than Manitoba. Then there's subsidized um, transportation for newcomers. So if you're a newcomer, you want subsidized transportation, you can apply to get a subsidized transportation and everything is based on your income. So you take advantage of that so that you don't um, spend too much money on transit. And another thing that you can also put into consideration is for families who have children and that's the cost of daycare. The cost of daycare is graduated, depends on the age of the child. For zero to three months, you'll be paying as much as $1,000. For three months to one year, it becomes cheaper. And then the older the child gets, it becomes cheaper. So you should be budgeting about $1,000 for daycare or $1,500. I'll be putting the links of where you can find all this information on the description box of the video so that you have an idea of what it is like. Um, before you make a decision on if you want to move to 
Edmonton or you want to stay in Calgary. So I've already done a video on the cost of living in Calgary. You can check the video out as well. But this is what it is like for the cost of living in Edmonton. And it's a, it's a moderate city which people can actually live in and, you know, very affordable compared to bigger cities like Toronto and Vancouver. Um, Edmonton is a very big city. Um, but if you want to compare it to Winnipeg, it's smaller. Winnipeg is smaller compared to Edmonton. Edmonton is bigger than Winnipeg. There are lots of opportunities in Edmonton, lots and lots of opportunities in Edmonton. You have all the government jobs, government of Alberta jobs, you find them in Edmonton. And yeah, so that's basically it. And uh, thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.